Hey, you guys, I wanted to hop on and just make this quick little video for you. Um, some of you may not even know me because we are growing so fast. My name is Polly Brothers and I am an independent consultant and regional vice president um, with Arbonne. And I've been with Arbonne for 14 years and y'all we're growing so fast that we'll be a nation next year, um, in the beginning of next year. And that means a lot of you are going to be popping as areas and regions. And so this is for you. Um, there's two things I want to share. Number one is in December, it can get so super easy to just think that, um, you know, it's everybody's busy. It's December. It's almost Christmas. And y'all, this is one of the biggest times always in my business, always every single year. And it's because, um, it, we're planting seeds, planting seeds, planting seeds. And then after the holidays, after Christmas, people have a, they got Christmas money. A lot of times, um, they're kind of in a spending mood anyway. Um, and then B our clean eating program, you guys, everybody is going to be looking for a way to get back, um, into, you know, whatever healthier is for them. And so we want to be who they turn to. And you can be talking to people now about the clean eating program. Um, so you just, just remember that, that you're planting a lot of seeds there that you're going to be able to, um, reap the harvest from very quickly here, but in like right after Christmas, um, through January. So we're also going to be doing a lot of post starting December 26th in our healthy living inside and out group, a lot of lives and things like that. So you'll be able to, you can go ahead and be plugging all the people that you're talking to, they don't have to be clients. You can plug them into that healthy inside and out group and they're going to be getting a lot of exposure, which is great. But two quick things. Um, one is because it is so easy this month to just kind of put your business on the back burner. You need to have a strong why. And also you want to think about something called the slight edge. It's those little bitty things that are so easy to do and easy not to do in this business. And you want to keep doing them. And so those three reach outs a day or three to five reach outs a day, whatever it is that you're doing personally, keep doing them. I just want to encourage you because they will come to fruition. So today I'm actually headed to the nail salon. Um, I teased with my husband last night and told him that we can start turning. Um, I do a, a financial thing with him every month where we look at what I've spent and, you know, just budget kind of stuff with my business. And it's been really eye-opening and great. But last night I said, hey, you know what? From now on, I'm just going to call nails because I we also do my personal one. I said, I we can kind of move that into business because um, I need so many people there. And so this one girl, we've been trying to get together and, you know, it's busy. It's Christmas. And I said, hey, do you need to get your nails done by any chance? Because I do. And she's like, yes. And we go to the same place. That's where I met her. Um, and Brittany, it's not you because <laughs> I met you there too. Um, but I said, well, hey, why don't we just meet up there tomorrow and we can talk a little bit. I want to get to know you better and I can share Arbon with you and we'll just sit side by side. And she was like, that'd be great. So I'm getting ready to leave in like 30 minutes to do that. So get creative, you guys, with your business, but just remember that those little bitty things that are so easy to put on the back burner, um, that's what's going to make the difference in your business, especially in January, February, March, you're going to see the results of what you're doing now. So don't, don't delay. Don't, you know, have that sense of urgency even now in December, because it is so, so important. And that leads me to the, the last thing I wanted to share with you guys, and it has to do with your why. And so, you know, when your why is strong enough in this business, and I mean, it has to be strong enough that you will do those little things because you know that every single little thing you're doing is getting you closer to whatever your reason for doing Arbonne is. And so I've been having some conversations with some of you about peeling away the layers of the onion. So a lot of times in the beginning we say our why is financial and yes, it is. Believe me for pretty much everyone, you know, we don't do it for free, but I want you to think a little bit deeper. So for me, I realized this in um, talking with someone on our team um, about her why. It made me have sort of this aha moment and I'm gonna share that with you guys. And it's personal, but I wanna encourage you to think like this and to get down and you may not wanna share you know, your absolute like 
gut level, gut wrenching level, you know, like I'm about to share with you, I'm not going to share this with every single person, but this is what really kind of created, um, that, that personal why. And I will share this with people from now on, I think. So I was having a conversation and we were talking about her why, and I was like, Oh my goodness. Like what she shared just struck a chord with me. So 18 and a half years ago, I got sober by the grace of God and the steps of AA and lots and lots of support from other people. And I'm so grateful for that, you guys. It has changed my entire life. I'm so, so grateful. Um, and about three years into sobriety is when I um, was introduced to Arbon. And I'm very grateful for the timing of that, by the way, as well. But what I didn't realize, yes, I was looking for a way to not have to go back to corporate. Yes, I was looking for time freedom. Yes, I was looking for to do, you know, because I have always been a hard worker. I knew that I could do whatever I put my mind to in, in terms of that part of it. But what I didn't know was that I was really looking for a community. I was really looking for a way um, to be a part of something. Before I got sober, I had pretty much pushed all my friends away. As you know, as you can tell from this, this is super personal. Um, so I probably wouldn't share this in a group presentation. Don't worry if I'm about to do your group presentation, I'm not going to go into this. But, but it's important because it drives the real why. Um, and that's what I want you to think about. And so before I got sober, I had driven a lot of my friends away. Um, some of them had said, I can't be friends with you anymore because um, I can't keep watching you do what you're doing to yourself. And I was not, you know, someone that, I mean, I functioned pretty much every day until the very end. I, I was very, you know, people didn't know. A lot of people didn't know. Um, but at the end, people did, obviously, especially my family and my husband. Um, so I didn't have a, a real something to be a part of. And I never really felt like I was a part of something. And so that has to do with a lot of, you know, deep seated fear and insecurity. And I'm sharing this because I know that we all have this in some way, shape or form. And you've probably gone through something that's, that's not exactly what I've gone through, but I'm sure that all of us have our reason for, for these things that we're, you know, that we feel these insecurities and fears and, and whatever. But I didn't realize that I was looking for um, something to be a part of that was greater than me and something that I could really make an impact with. And, um, and certainly sobriety has given me that as well because I help so many other people um, who also help me. But this was different. This was something I could feel really successful at, you know, if I stuck with it. And that was the thing. I knew I could commit. And I knew, I knew that I didn't know I could be successful, but I just followed the leader and I just listened to what other people said. And I just latched onto other people's success stories. And you guys, because of Arbon, because of Arbon, I have such an incredible community of friends that are incredible leaders and, and incredible people. And, and I feel so much love from Arbon. And so it is not always about just the financial piece. And that's what I want you to think about, especially this holiday season. I want you to think about what Arbon means to you. You might be new and you're not sure yet, and that's okay. But I want you to know that that is part of this, is being a part of something, a community that's greater than you. Um, I encourage you to plug into everything because you never know what someone's going to say that's going to make that difference for you. And also because um, you know, it, this is something where it is your business and you are responsible for plugging in and for showing up for your business. Um, and I could go into that a whole nother, like I could go into a training about that, but I won't because of time. And I know I've been um, rambling a little bit, but I did want to hop on and share that with you guys because, you know, I really hope that you will sit down and write out 21 reasons why you're doing Arbon, that you will get to the real meat of the matter and that you will know that that is why it is so important that you do something every single day for your business. It doesn't take a long time. That's the cool thing. Get prepared, make your list and start reaching out. And um, if you need help with that, certainly there's so many resources. We're here. We've posted things for you. Listen to the calls, but it is really ultimately because of your why. Um, and I just wanted to share that, you guys, and I hope that makes a difference for you, especially right now in your business. So um, Merry Christmas, everybody. Um, I really love you all. I'm so super grateful for my team. I'm so grateful, you guys, for the people that introduced Arbonne to me, for Andrea and for all the people before her. And you never know who you're going to affect by continuing and sticking and staying. And that's the other thing I wanted to say in ending this is stay, you guys, stay. Don't give up. 
It is not overnight <laughs> by any means. Everybody's journey is different. Don't compare. Oh my gosh, don't compare your journey with somebody else's. Mine has been incredibly different. It has taken me longer, but I had a ton of personal growth to do. And I'm so glad that Arbonne um, helped me to do that. All right, so bye guys. Have a great day.